Welcome back to Good Morning La La Land. We're so excited to have Joss on the show. It's all about movement, which I think is so big in today's world with all the computers, all this stuff. We're just sitting around and we're not meant to do that. I'm so excited to hear about what you, I mean, because this is your expertise. So tell us all about it. So my brand is Joss Muni Fitness uh, and I am a transformation coach online. Uh, so I hope, help people to get where they want to look physically and then mentally because when you get to the way you want to look, it gives you such self-esteem and it boosts your whole lifestyle, I find. Uh, I mean, I, I've been out of shape in my life and I found when I got to a certain area where I'm put, like, happy to look at myself in the mirror and it helps going to work and you can, you can speak to the girl you want to speak to or like, get that promotion and stuff. So I think movement is so important, especially as you say, because so many people are just sat at desks all day. Mm -hmm. Wait, so you mean you didn't just wake up one no, day like this? <laughs> or just trip one day no, and no, you were just shredded? I, I was tiny Good looking school. Yeah. I was yeah. really oh, small boy. at school. I always wanted to be one of the bigger kids and I started going to the gym. Uh, originally it started with rugby. Um, mm -hmm. I played rugby in England. And then um, it just I fell in love with the aesthetic side of it. And then I think it's very important. It sounds vain, but I think people need to fall in love with themselves. So if like, no one else can love you unless you can't love yourself, I think that's very true. Um, so what was that crossroads for you when you decided, you know what, I'm going to fall in love with myself? I'm going, <laughs> so, I'm going so, all right here. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I know what you're saying. Totally I'm here, I promise. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, think, I, think, I don't I think, say that sarcastically because it's, it's a beautiful thing. I think it's yeah. important. Absolutely. But it does sound people, so low. No, it sounds so vain. No, but, <laughs> no I, I mean it in the most beautiful and respectful totally. way because I think for some people they're just, they're afraid of that. They hesitate with that. And you know, there must have been a moment where you, where you thought, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. I'm going to dedicate myself to fitness. I'm going to dedicate myself to transforming my mind and really loving on myself. Uh, I, was around, I was around 19 when I started training properly. And then um, I got my qualifications. And then once I started training people and seeing other people change, I remember one specific woman, um, she was training for a wedding. And she dropped uh, like three, four dress sizes to get into this wow. wedding dress. And for me to see her walk it back into the gym, and she was glowing. Do you know what I mean? It was it's such a good feeling. And so now I do it online to like thousands of clients now. So wow. Yeah. So the movement. What is different? What What's different about you versus another trainer? Is there something specific that you focus on? Not really. I, I focus on the aesthetic side, side of training. Um, I believe in the way, like I said earlier, if you could feel, if you want to look a certain way, um, it makes you feel a lot better as a person yeah. so I focus uh, on basically I'll, I'll build your diet down to your diet specifications and then whatever your goal is physically if you want to get bigger you're gonna have to be lifting bigger weights uh, or if you want to cut down you have to focus on your cardio um, but every, everyone's different mm -hmm. but I I love that. so I can't help but notice that your ring would tell us a little bit about that I thought it was a Mayan that's just um, um, but it's not it's just Armani ring there's, there's uh, nothing special about it. Okay, never mind. That's <laughs> the spiritual meaning. Sorry, it's a okay. bubble. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's so great. So before you were doing this, mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about your journey there because, you know, I know part of it was challenging for you because you said you weren't always in such great shape and so you found your sort of path there. But did you know that you wanted to go into this space and the fitness and stuff like that? Because I know you, you know, obviously people might recognize them from TV, so. Yeah, well, um, I, uh, I, I was play, I've played sports all my life. That was, I've always been, always been a very sporty person, but I was very little at school. And obviously, like I said, I wanted to be bigger. I wanted to be one of the bigger guys. I, I had a picture, I don't know if you know who Johnny Wilkinson is. Mm, no uh, love. Yeah, English rugby player. I had a picture of him on my wall. Uh, I always used to want his body. And as I got older, like, I started seeing videos of Greg Plitt, and then I fell in love with like, the whole gym side of things. Uh, but training side, like, I've, I got my qualifications when I was young, uh, and it started off in personal training in a gym one-to-one -one. but as I went on to TV I, I got this social platform which was hard to balance because a, a reality TV is a lot of partying and going out but I'm trying to still hold this fitness brand which is very important to me so that grew my uh, social following uh, up and then now I can like train people online via my my plans. Mm -hmm. yeah. How do you recommend people maintain that balance? Because you mentioned, you know, you go out, you party, you're this reality star, but you also have this fitness brand. I mean, how do people balance that in their own lives? I think a lot of people, or people on the other shows, because I think... No, just in general. <laughs> I mean, balance is hard. Balance is hard, but I, I, I always say to my clients that if you're training, you put like... If you do a hard hard week work, like you, you deserve to go go for a meal, go for a night out, because dieting can be so antisocial. And when you're cutting drink out, and if you're going for drinks with your friends, you're having your orange juice or water, and they're all having drinks and stuff like 
they're not they're secretly judging you. Like, oh, totally. <laughs> you know, no, I don't like, want to be that like, girl. My friends are like, they're looking at me like, yeah, you're you're doing. Doing. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, no fun whatsoever. Yeah, but I think well, it's important to... I do think that getting a trainer, whether it be um, physical or whether it be having a leader that you want to you know, aspire to be financially or whatever it may be, you know, people, I think they should find somebody that they want to that inspires them when they look at them. And I think that you you have this great look. I'm sure there's people that are like, I want what he has. Like, sign me up, right? That's, I'm sure it that's helps That's so refreshing here because I used to be that little kid. I used to look at, like, watch web clip videos and stuff like that. I think it's the time you put in, like, that quote, um, make your rivals become your idols. No, your idols become your rivals, sorry. Mm -hmm. I think it's very... Um, important if you just keep training because at the start of a journey of fitness journey people just look themselves in the mirror and they're not happy with themselves but a year later you'll be laughing at what you've achieved if you just keep consistency mm -hmm. i love that i know that you've got a new book out an ebook yeah you know is can we find a lot of these tips in the book yeah so uh, i've got three main books the personalized plans which are totally specific and built down to you your macronutrients your training specifications uh, and then i've got two ebooks are out so one's called my body project because a lot of people ask me like what I do, day in, day out. So um, that's just literally my guide to being me. <laughs> so it's like what I do, what I eat, how I train, uh, what times I train, how, how much I eat, everything down to um, the T, really. And then there's another move, uh, a book called Just Move. So a lot of my clients, they're like, I'm working so much and I can't get out of the office. So I've created a book where you can do a 15 to 30 minute workout. It's intense, it's built to fit, uh, fat, uh, strip fat. Uh, and you'll be burning calories for the next eight hours throughout the day. Mm. So it's really effective, but it's, it's, it's a short workout you do on the morning. Like I, I do it on the morning because I do fasted cardio. I think it's very key to mm. using fat. Uh, I love that. Fat. Any tips on there, in there about how I can get that accent? Right <laughs> <'Cause> I think <laughs> that would be very helpful in my life. Other than you want here, I was trying to order a coffee earlier. No one could understand it. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, no, it's great. We love it. So good. It's well, charming. Thank you so much for everything. And